Please look right into the camera. And I said yesterday when I came here, the camera was left lying down. Yes, that is very bad habit. It gets spoiled. Every time I see, I keep the bathrooms closed and another person uses the bathroom. They always keep it open and go. So I told the kids, look, when you are, before entering the bathroom or entering any place, if you are not conscious, you are dead, you finish. You, all your talents goes off. So when you enter the bathroom, you just have a look whether the bathroom door was locked or was kept open. If it was locked, you make sure that when you come out, you keep, lock it back. Keep the things back to position. If you do not have that much of consciousness, then we cannot even start the day. People just go unconscious and that is the cause of all the troubles and diseases. Be a little conscious and go to any place to look what it is before. If you have seen a chair and you make sure after using the chair, put it back into the same position, whether it is in a restaurant or hotel or anywhere, because other people are watching. Bob Marley said, some people feel the rain, others just get wet. Yes. Feeling is very, very important. If you do not have the feeling, not only of what, what you like it, but anything and everything what you see, if you feel it, you understand that you are not dead. They say dead men tell no tales. Some people feel the rain, others just get wet. You just keep moving like a dead body. You have no connecting link. You are not conscious about the surroundings. Then you are lost. Some people feel the rain. Feel, smell, taste, touch. And see, these are the five sense organs. Once you know to feel, smell, taste, touch, and see follows you. And you have everything. Once you know to feel it, then you are conscious about your kutumba, your family. Abhivita kutumba, your joint family. Vamsa vriksha, your family tree. Malinir kuri, your rainwater harvesting. And Saura Shakti, your solar. These are the five things. Once you have the five, like how you have five fingers. If you have this five, you are conscious. And in the consciousness, you can avoid. I'm not telling you will not get diseased. You can avoid diseases. Some people, I never fall sick. My nature cure, Guru. He always kept telling, once in a while you should fall sick. People who say they never fall sick, they tuck one day they have a cardiac arrest, they go off very fast. In between, in between, yes, in between, in between, yes, you're falling sick. It helps you to cleanse, clean, you go on a fast, you'll be a little conscious about your body, otherwise you might go dead. Like in Malaysia, they started creating roads, straight line roads. So they were forced to remove a lot of houses and villages to cut through to so make the road straight so that they can reach very fast. Yes, they can cut down on the hours of the uh, travel. Another one problem came after the roads were opened. They found massive amount of accidents. When the roads were zigzag, they're going to different places, the break and the move. They found the roads were very bad and it take more time. But deaths were less, accidents were less. But why in straight line? When in straight line, when they're going non-stop, the drivers went unconscious, boom, unconscious, boom. So a little zigzag, once in a while falling sick. Yes. Makes you very conscious. Some people feel the rain, like in the classrooms of the schools and colleges, universities, in your research centers. You, when you feel that you have entered a place, they say, leave your slippers and your mind outside the house before entering the house. Then we leave whatever you have done outside in your offices. Don't carry it in your house. Like you leave it outside and you go. You and the subject become one. one. Then you start feeling whatever is there in the classroom. 
You start melting with every subject. And once you know you are inside the classrooms and you are a student, you are come here to grasp as much as possible from the living guru, which is teacher who is teaching, you will always know, feel, then smell, taste, touch and see. You will immediately after you get that through, you are strong. You never think whether I'll have a distinction. You never think whether I'll get 95% or 98%. 100 is 100. Less than that, nothing happens. Same when you go to the job place also. They say the elder brother is watching. You become conscious. Some people feel the rain. You feel the factories. You feel the companies. They feel where you're going. Others just get wet. Others just go and come back. And they always complain because they have not gone there to melt. They have not gone there to become one with the others. That is very, very important. When you do your exercises also. That sportive spirit is very important. You are not going to beat somebody else. When you go to beat somebody else, you are in a war. You and the robber has got nothing, no difference. The robber was running and the Zen master looked. He, he came back from his bath. He looked into his room, the last piece. He doesn't have much thing in the foot of the mountain. The robber was taking his belongings and running. And the master clapped. The robber stopped. He turned around to look. And the master had only one small towel around him. He removed the towel and said, Please take this. This is the last thing I have in my house. Who knows tomorrow you will again, you might need this one. Please take it. The robber turned around to look. He saw the naked body of the Zen master. For a second, he was shocked. The master had nothing. The last drop was his giving. And still he is happy, he's telling, please take it. And I, with all the wrong things, feeling, living in fear, running for whom? Stealing for whom? Some people feel the rain. Others just get wet. Don't get wet. Wetness is like a robbery. Just going and coming is like a robbery. Get wet. You don't possess. And if you know how to get wet, you can make your wife, your husband also wet. And then you can find in that wetness, you think it is impossible to get the family together. But once you start understanding it is wetness, you can start feeling the wetness. And when you feel the wetness, you know, you have felt the rain. And it rains money. It rains love. It rains affection. It rains power. It rains positive and negative creates electricity. It only rains and delivery is thy name. Once you and your wife, father and mother, Family and joint family join together. There's a blast of energy which strengthens the family tree. Who can stop you? Nobody can stop you. Hence, Bob Molly says, some people feel the rain. Others just do get wet. I'm not telling you just get wet and you're unconscious. You're not conscious about what is that. Never mind. But slowly feel it. Feel the shivering of the wetness. And then start feeling the rain, start feeling your wife, the husband, start feeling the family, start feeling the rain, wind, sunlight. Yes, then you can see the three murtis making you very strong. Those three murtis are your family, the joint family and the family tree. This rains money for you. 